lot of us will go back to thinking about close the pod door, Hal, and you know the the darker side. Can you speak to that? So I actually went back to watch that movie, uh, and it's an extraordinary statement about Kubrick and his vision. Uh, one of the scenes they have the equivalent of iPads, right? This is 1960s. Right? It's extraordinary how how well he saw it. Um, there are many many things that have to happen between where we are now and the kind of stuff that you're talking about, about Hal and so forth. Um, no one I know who's credibly working in these areas thinks that that's gonna occur anytime soon. Our job, and the way we organize ourselves, is to make people smarter. And I don't mean rich people, I mean everybody. And my core argument is that if we could just make everybody smarter, sort of a, an assistant, if you will, that helps you get through the day, and everybody has problems, you know, what do I do, what choice do I make, and so forth, that makes you smarter, makes you more knowledgeable, keeps you more sort of down the straight and narrow, that's a good thing. The more, that's an obvious use. The more interesting uses have to do with intuition at a scientific level. So it's possible that this technology will accelerate the rate of scientific discoveries. Um, and I'll give you a simple example. What do chemists actually do? So they take compound A, compound B, they mix them all together, and they see if it makes something, and usually it doesn't, they put it in the lab, they patent it, and they forget about it, right? So if you could figure a way to automate that, right, using computers to create choices, you could generate faster compounds. Now, how important is that to you? Well, not that important unless you're a chemist and a trillion dollar chemical industry globally. It's a huge change, right? What, what are those chemicals used for? Everything, right? All sorts of things that we use every day. Um, let's think about uh, automating proofs, think about protein folding. All of these complicated things where complex evolutionary systems are hard to model because humans aren't very good at thinking about patterns as they change. There's evidence that we can do that and we can do it at scale. Now, we'll see how far we can get, but a lot of people believe in the next five years that there will be great, great strides in those areas. Now, will those discoveries affect you? Maybe not in five years, but they will in 10 and in a big way, right? Better, cheaper, faster. Imagine a world where the materials that your house is built out of and your car is built out of are 10 times cheaper, 10 times uh, stronger, more resilient, longer lived, whatever, because of materials. Uh, that stuff actually matters a lot. Why?